It's Saturday the 26th of June and these five people are at the BBC Television Centre to win money that could change their lives. On the National Lottery, in it to win it! Please welcome your host, Gail Winton. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to the National Lottery In It To Win It. Now, this is a show where tonight these five players all have the chance to win a massive amount of money. However, to get their hands on that cash, well, they'll need luck. They'll need skill. And most importantly, they'll need to be sitting right here in winner's row at the end of the show. So, who's going to be the first to join me? Well, you each have your own colour. Who will be drawn first? Let's find out. It's green, it's Ian. Come and make some money. I'm Ian Goldman. I'm 59 years old. I'm from Whitefield in Manchester and I'm in healthcare. Hello. Hi, Dale. Welcome to Winner's Row. Thank you very much. You had a one in five chance of being out here first and hey, you cracked it. <clears throat> I feel a little nervous, but I'm very excited. No, you're not nervous. Who have you brought with you for support? I brought with me my daughter, Michelle, and my sister, Brenda. They look very happy up there, don't they? Because they know what I know that you know. You're going home with some money tonight. I'd like to think so, Dave. How much? Uh, if it's not been too greedy, I'd like about 30,000. What would you do with your 30? Um, well, we've got some very uh, uh, milestone birthdays this year. Right. Um, my daughter, Michelle's 30, my son-in-law's 30, my wife's 50, and I'm 60. So, I'd like to take them all on a Caribbean holiday. All of them, fantastic. All of them. Now, you know the deal. Each question's worth five grand. There is an air of jeopardy to all this. Give me a wrong answer, and you go to the red area. Mm. You do not want to be going there. No. No, 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 no. Uh, two ways out of there, as you know. Back here in Winners Row on the turn of one question, or right back where you started, where, quite frankly, anybody who's sitting over there will be delighted to see you. You're not going to be doing that, are you? I hope not, no. I wish you the best of luck. Let's have your first question. In which sport might a pommel horse be used? Would it be water polo, fencing or gymnastics? Well, I know the answer to that, uh, Dale. It's gymnastics. Are you saying you want me to take gymnastics as your answer? I do, Dale. Is it gymnastics? Yes, well done, Good start, good start. Here's your next question. In medieval Britain, what job did an apothecary do? Was it farmer, teacher, or pharmacist? I'm reasonably certain it's the pharmacist. It's, it's to do with alchemy or something like that. So I'll take pharmacist. Alchemy and pharmacy? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Is it the pharmacist? You knew that. <laughs> Let's have another one for you. Monarch and gatekeeper are varieties of which insect? Would it be dragonfly, butterfly, or grasshopper? <clears throat> I'm not... I'm, I'm really not sure about this, so I'm going to take a random answer and I'm going to say butterfly. Is yes. that what you want me to take? Yes. Then I shall. Ian says butterfly. I would love it to be butterfly, but is it? Thank you. You've not put a foot wrong yet. I hope you like the next question. Here it is. Bring it on. In bookmaker's slang, how much is a pony? Is it £25, £100 or £500? I'm reasonably certain it's not £100. It's a choice between £25 and £500. I've got a feeling £500's a monkey. I think 25 is a pony. I'm going to go for 25 pounds. Would you like me to take 25 pounds as your answer? Only if it's right, Dale. <laughs> uh, yes. Is it right? Yes! <laughs> the heart's pounding. Well, that's the nerves good. are getting a little raw. You're not nervous. It's not nerves, it's adrenaline. Yes, that's true. Just remember that. OK. Let's have a look at your question. Who won the Best Actress Oscar in 2004 
for her role in the film Monster. Was it Cameron Diaz, Halle Berry, or Charlize Theron? I don't think it was Cameron Diaz. 2004, Halle Berry. Charlize Theron, that seems to ring a bell. Charlize Theron. I'll try Charlize Theron. Would you like me to take Charlize as your answer? Yes, Dan. In says Charlize Theron. If you're wrong, you know the consequences. It's the red area and a mm. one in two chance of making it back. Sure. Here. Is it Charlize Theron? Goodness. I love that. You know, you give a little like, a little smile. I'm very pleased with myself for getting that one right. Believe me, I am. I can tell. I can tell. Here's your next question. In 1192, which English king was captured and held to ransom? Was it George the First, Richard the First, or Edward the First? There was a King Richard that went to the Crusades, and he was held for ransom. And that's the only connection I can think of, so I'm going to go for Richard I. So you want me to take that? Yes. OK. I'm looking for Richard I. Is that the right answer? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Six correct answers, 30 grand in the prize fund. On your own. It's fantastic. And, but I've not taken it home yet, then. No, quite right, too. You've got to still be here when the klaxon goes. Correct. You know the way the game is played. Here's your next question. Of Mice and Men is a novel by which American author? Is it Herman Melville, Ernest Hemingway, or John Steinbeck? I'm torn between Ernest Hemingway and John Steinbeck. I don't know why I've dismissed Herman Melville, but for some reason I have. Um, I'm trying to see the book cover <laughs> of Mice and Men. I'll go with Ernest Hemingway. I must ask you, would you like me to take Ernest Hemingway as your answer? Yes. OK. Is it the right answer? <laughs> I have a feeling it will be OK. I'm sorry to say, okay. make your way to Red Ian. <laughs> well, Ian has had a cracking start to in it to win it tonight. One full step just happened. He's in the red area, which means... I have four players in the waiting area. One of them is about to join me here on the winner's row. Who's it going to be? Let's find out. It's Pink, it's Lisa. Come and make some cash. My name's Lisa Thompson. I'm 38, I come from Bolton in Lancashire, and I work as cabin crew. Uh, you've come here with a dream, perchance to dream with how much cash? £20,000 would be wonderful. That's good, but look at that. 20 grand, and you're in Winners Row, and there's 30 grand there at the moment, and you're on your own. No one else to share it with. Fantastic. Um, who did you bring with you for support tonight? My friends, Lynn and Julie. Are they your bestest, bestest, bestest friends yeah, in the whole wide world? They're great. OK, now they want to see you go home with 20 grand or even more. So, what would you do with the money? Well, I'm mad on animals. Yeah. And I'd love to buy a bigger house with some land and adopt abandoned animals. Uh, <laughs> so, you'd buy a bit of abandoned land mm. and you'd look after how many animals would you oh, be looking at? Anything. I'd have pigs and goats and cats, dogs. Would you give up the job? I'd like to, yeah. So you give up the job and then tend after the animals? Yeah, That's mucking admirable. out and all that, yeah. Mucking out? <laughs> oh, I don't do things like that. Oh, no. Rather you than me, but listen, I'll help you pursue your dream and I'd love you to go home with the money. As you know, you're only here because Ian, bless him, got the question wrong. I need to get him out of the red area and back in Winners Row alongside you. So I'll be back with your first question shortly. Ian, how are you doing? <clears throat> Felt a little better. It is not multiple choice in the red area, as you know. When I've given you the question, take your time and give me hopefully the right answer. If you give me the correct answer, you're back in Winners Row. If it's wrong, you'll be joining our other three players who, quite frankly, would love your company. OK? <laughs> yes. But we don't want to send you there. OK. Let's have a look at your question. If I Were a Rich Man is a song from which stage musical? Oh, I can see now Topple singing it. Oh, my. Fiddler on the Roof. Do you want me to take Fiddler on the Roof as your answer? Let me think. Let me think. I, I said that very quickly. 
Fiddler on the roof. Ian says Fiddler on the roof. If indeed you're right, Ian, you're going straight back to Winners Row alongside Lisa. I hope you're right. Is it? Come on, come on, I'm, come on. OK. <laughs> Lisa, you have company in Winners Row, but I guess that's only right and proper, cos so far tonight, Ian has been the only one to contribute to that prize fund of £30,000. However, here's where you could put five grand in. Here's your first question. Launched in 1957, what was the name of the first Earth-orbiting satellite? Was it Luna 1, Sputnik 1, or Eagle 1? Oh, think, think, think. I'm going to go Sputnik 1. Would you like me to take Sputnik 1 as your answer? Yes. Then I shall. Lisa says Sputnik 1. If that is right, we'll have 35 grand in the prize fund. You look very nervous. <laughs> I am. Don't be nervous, <laughs> sweetheart. Is it Sputnik 1? Yes! <laughs> well done, sweetheart. <laughs> Ian, let's have a look at your next question. What is the meaning of the woman's name Ruth? Is it? Compassion, victory, or truth? Oof. I have no idea. Ruth the truth. Victory. Compassion. Well, it's, it's, it's a biblical name, so... I'm going to say compassion. Shall I take compassion as your answer? Yes. Are you right, Ian? You're smiling, <laughs> smiling on the outside. Are you crying on the inside? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I have to say, Dean, every time I look across to the waiting area, you're grinning from ear to ear. Because I can just see that prize from building. Thing. <laughs> that's, oh, that's the way to look at it. They're doing the job for you at the <laughs> yeah. moment. OK? I wish you luck with this, your second question. Here it is. The city of Cardiff stands at the mouth of which river? Is it the Taff, the Usk or the Wye? Now, Taff is like a Welsh name, like Taffy, isn't it? I think. So I'm going either with Taff or Y. Oh. I've not heard of the river Taff. I'm going to go River Y. I might have taken the Y as your yes. answer. OK. Lisa says why. I'll accept that as your answer. If you're right, we'll have 45 grand in the prize fund. Is that the right answer? It <laughs> was your first thought, wasn't it? Yeah. I am so sorry. You know what no I'm going to say? Please make yeah. your way to red. <laughs> Let's have a look at your next question. Sid Barrett and Roger Waters were a member of which rock group? Would it be ELO? Genesis or Pink Floyd? Oof. Oh dear, we don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. Um, Barrett and Waters. Well, I don't. I've got a feeling I'm going over there again. Um, I'm just going to go for Pink Floyd. Shall I take Pink Floyd as your answer? Yes. Is that the right answer? BG Dean and Vivian, one of them is about to join me here in Winners Row. Who's it going to be? Well, let's find out. It's blue, it's Vivian. Come on, make some noise. I'm Vivian Radfar, I'm 43, and I'm a PA from Buckinghamshire. Isn't that seat much more comfortable than the one over there? It's much better. Isn't it? It's really, That's really good. nice. Yeah. Whom did you bring with you for support tonight? I brought my husband, Mehran, and my mother, Hazel. Surely she looks like she could be your sister. Oh, she's yes. too young. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she's lovely. You came here with a dream to win how much money tonight? Um, 
Well, anything would be nice. If I'm here at the end when the klaxon goes and I get my question, whatever is there would be nice, but 10,000, I think, would be... What would you do with the 10 grand? Well, I want to pamper my mother, send her to a health farm. Right. I want to pay for my son's university fees. Yeah. And I want to go on a belly dancing holiday to Egypt. A belly dancing holiday? Yes. So you're going to put your mother in a home? Yes. And <laughs> you're going off to India? No, no, Egypt. <laughs> oh, Egypt. Egypt. Egypt, that's fair enough. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I'll be back with your first question in just a moment. Lisa, how are you doing? I'm all right. OK. Have you forgiven yourself for getting the last one wrong? Yeah. Good. Cool. <laughs> One question, it's not multiple choice. Give me the right answer, and you'll be sitting next to Ian in Winners Row again. Right. Here's your question. By what name is the decompression sickness suffered by deep sea divers more commonly known? By what name is the decompression sickness suffered by deep sea divers more commonly known? You're smiling. Do you like this one? I think I do. Do you, darling? I hope I get this right. Go on, then. Is it the bends? Would you like me to take the bends as your answer? Yes. Yeah? The yeah. Benz? OK. Yeah. Lisa says the Benz. If that is the right answer, you're going to take your place back in Winner's Row. Is it? Yes! Thank you, lad. Come on. <laughs> Vivian, here's your first question. Which historical rebellion was led by what Tyler? Would it be Gunpowder Plot? The Civil War or the Peasants' Revolt? Well, the gunpowder plot was um, Guy Fawkes. The Civil War was um, Oliver Cromwell. So I'm pretty sure it's the Peasants' Revolt. I'm hoping it's the Peasants' Revolt, so that's what I'm going to go for. Shall I take the Peasants' Revolt as your answer? Fingers crossed, yes. Then I shall. Vivian says the Peasants' Revolt. If that's the right answer, there'll be £50,000 in that prize fund. Are you right, sweetheart? Yes, well done. Fantastic. <laughs> That's going to be 55 grand. Here's your next question. In which sport might competitors set or spike the ball? Would it be snooker, volleyball, or squash? Spike? It's not, it's not squash. So it's either volleyball or snooker. I'll go for volleyball. Is that what you want me to take as your answer? Yes. OK. Ian says volleyball. Is it right? <laughs> <laughs> you do it every time. You do it every time. Are you ready for your next question? I am. OK. I wish you the best of luck, Lisa. Here it is. In Greek mythology, which creatures could turn people to stone with a glance? Would it be gorgons, harpies, or sirens? I don't think it's sirens. It's going to be between harpies and gorgons. Oh, In Greek mythology, which creatures could turn people to stone with a glance? Gorgons, harpies, or sirens? I'm going to say harpies. I don't know how I've got to that, but that's what I'm going to say. Is that what I'm to take as your answer? Yes. Is that the right answer? <laughs> Please, Lisa, make your way to red. <laughs> and so, VG and Dean get a crack at Winner's Row. One of them is about to join me. Who's it going to be? Well, let's find out. It's yellow, it's Dean. Come on, make some money. Name is Dean Lennox. I'm 34, from Burnage in Manchester, and I'm a training coordinator. How much money do you want to take home, Dean? Ooh, about 15,000. What would you do with the money? Ooh, I'd buy uh, a caravan in Wales, I think. Would you? I would indeed. A holiday home? A holiday home. OK, and who have you brought with you for support? I brought family members, Yasmin and Muzza, up there. OK, that's great. You are only here for one reason, because Lisa, bless her heart, got the question wrong. I need to get her out of the red area, back into Winners Row, so relax. I'll be back with your first question in a moment. Lisa, how are you doing? I'm all right. I don't have to explain to you the rules of the way it works here. One question. Please give me the right answer. At this late stage in the game, I'd love to see you back in Winners Row. 
Shall we do it? Yeah. Let's have a look at your question. The Brandenburg Gate is a feature of which European city? The Brandenburg Gate is a feature of which European city? It's Berlin. Would you like me to take Berlin as your answer? Yes. You're very sure about it. This is the most certain you've been all night, <laughs> which means I hope you're right. So do I. <laughs> I'm looking for Berlin. Price fund is frozen at £55,000. You are all in the right place at the right time. You can relax. You are just one question away from staking your claim on a share of that prize fund. Viji, I have terrible news for you. You have been a joy all day. I'm so sorry you've sat there in the waiting area throughout the whole show, didn't get a crack at Winner's Row. I don't want to say to you, you're a sweetheart and I love you, but I have to say, Viji, this is good night. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> Lisa, Ian, Vivian and Dean, you are all just one question away from your share of 55 grand. You're looking at a share minimum of 13,750. Just relax, I'll be back with the last question of the night, the one worth the money. <laughs> well, they've got a few minutes to get their heads together because it's now your chance to win some cash. Oh yes, let's do the Thunderball. He's right, Saturday the 26th of June, very nearly seven minutes to nine. Time for this weekend's Thunderball Draw, live on BBC One, with Dale Winton and Gigi. Dale. Thanks, Alan. Well, England may well be out of the football, but let's hope we can put a smile back on your face with tonight's draws. You know what, with a double rollover on Lotto and a huge jackpot on Lotto Extra, there's a lot to get excited about. But first, of course, it's Thunderball and standing by, gorgeous Gigi. Ah, oh, thank you, Dale. Now, guess what? On Wednesday, over 35,000 of you pocketed a tenner by getting three out of the first five numbers, which just goes to show you, you don't have to get the Thunderball to be quids in. So it's time to sit up straight, take notice. Here come the first five numbers. OK, let's get those numbers rolling. Just do as you're told. Also on Wednesday, no jackpot winners, but four of you were runners-up, winning £5,000 each, and 96 of you were on the next tier down, matching four and the Thunderball, and for that, you received £250. Let's see how you get on this Saturday night. Dale, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Let's see those first five balls, and I hope you get the lot. Good luck. And we choose those five from the 34 you can see before you now. Here's the first one, and that's number 33. And the next one this Saturday night is that one there, and that's 31. And here is the third one. Up she comes, and that's number four. Here's the next. 29. And then to complete the set, we have this one for you, and that's number 10. Master Paul Van den Bosch, start up the second machine now, if you would please, and release the 14 red thunderballs. With us to make sure nothing untoward happens, an independent adjudicator by the name of Richard Dawkins. Sheet. Thanks, Al. Here it comes, the star of this draw, the thunderball, because this baby could bag you a quarter of a million pounds. Good luck. OK, now try and tell me that that amount of money wouldn't put a smile back on your face. Let's see that final thunderball. Fingers crossed. Here we go. This is it then, as we draw this weekend's Thunderball, and we do it live. And that is number one! In just a few minutes, a double rollover in the lotto. First tonight's Thunderball numbers again. In ascending order, number four. Number ten. Number twenty-nine. Number thirty-one. And number thirty-three. The Thunderball tonight is number one. So, those are tonight's winning numbers in the Thunderball. You can see them again at the end of the show. Now, it's back to Dale Winton. Don't forget, still to come, Lotto and Lotto Extra. Now, a few minutes ago, Lisa, Ian and Vivian helped put £55,000 into the prize fund. Do you know what? Dean hasn't put anything in yet. All four are looking at a share of at least £13,750 each. They're just one question away from that cash. Ooh. So, Dean, how are you feeling? Ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you should be, really, because you spent the whole evening over there in the waiting area, and then you come out here, you haven't answered a question yet. That's what we're smiling for. Oh, I, can, I can believe it. <laughs> and all this for a static caravan in North Wales? Absolutely. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Now, let's have a look. You've got 55 grand. Your share at the moment stands at 13,750. Right. Here is your question. Russian blue and Balinese are breeds of which animal? Would it be dog, cat, or budgerigar? I don't think it's a cat. Because I haven't heard of a Balinese cat. So I can rule out cats. I'm leaning towards Budjirigar. And I don't think it's a dog. I'm going to say Budgerigado. Would you like me to take Budgerigar as your answer? Yes, please. OK. Dean, for your share of that prize fund, is Budgerigar the right answer? <laughs> I'm so sorry. And you know what? You ruled out cat straight away, didn't you? You said it's not a cat. I'm sorry, I have to say good night. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Your share just went up to eighteen thousand three hundred and thirty-three pounds. If you get the next question right, you are just one question away from your share of that cash. You've just seen how it can go wrong. I, I really don't want it to go wrong for you tonight, sweetheart. I'm with you all the way. We're all with you. Are you ready for your question? I would have liked that last one. <laughs> You'd have liked that one? Yes. <laughs> OK. I can't give you that last no, one, but no. I can offer you this one. In sailing, what is a spinnaker? Is it a sail, an anchor, or a mast? Um, it, it's not an anchor. It's a sail or a mast. And I just have to think for a little minute. You take your time, sweetheart. Um, um, I really need the money to pay for my son's university, so I need to think. <laughs> um, it's definitely not an anchor. I'm sure it's not an anchor. I'm going to go for sale. Is that the answer you would like me to take? Yes. OK. Vivian says sail. I will accept that as your answer. If that is right, the minimum you're going home with tonight is £18,333. You're crossing everything, aren't you? I can see. Is that the right answer? Yes! Yes! Good answer, you right. You. Well, you can. Go on, give us a kiss. <laughs> there you go. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Tonight, you have given me nine correct answers. That means you alone have put £45,000 into that prize fund of 55. You know what that means. You're just one question away from taking home a minimum of yeah. 18 grand 333 I hope you can do it. You deserve it. Here's your question. Jim Hacker was the central character in which TV sitcom? Was it Brushstrokes, Rising Damp, or Yes Minister? Dale. Yes. Yes Minister. Absolutely. Please take my answer, is that what you're saying? Yes, please. You sure? <laughs> yes. OK. You're shaking, I can feel you shaking, which means that you're pretty sure you just walked away with a minimum of £18,333. Bring it on, is it the right answer? So far tonight, you've given me one correct answer. You've been in the red area twice. You have earned the right to be here. Here is the last question I'm going to ask you of the evening for that money. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Kathmandu is the capital of which country? Is it 
Nepal, Mongolia, or Indonesia? I think I know this. <laughs> um, it's Nepal. I'm sure it's Nepal. Would you like me to take Nepal as your answer? Yes. Sure? Yes. OK, darling. Oh. If that is the right answer, she knows that, like the other two players here in Winners Row, I'm about to give you a cheque for £18,333. I hope you're right. Please. Is it Nepal? Please. Yeah. You said you were going to do with the money again, an animal sanctuary. I love animals. Listen, you guys have been absolutely brilliant. You know what you're going home with them. A minimum share, which you've cracked it tonight, of £18,333. Oh. Relax, guys, I'll be back with your check. <laughs> Lisa, Vivian, and Ian are each going home with £18,333, and I will be back with their checks shortly. Well done. In the meantime, Here's your chance for a great night with Lotto and Lotto Extra. And they're live now on BBC One at two minutes past nine. Millions at stake again in this weekend's Lotto. And there's a fortune in Lotto Extra too. Let's find out from the man with millions to give away. Dale Winton. Thank you, Alan. You're right, you know. Vivian and Ian and Lisa have had a wonderful night on In It to Win It. But I hope they won't be the only ones celebrating in the next few moments. Well, here's Gigi with a double rollover on Lotto and Lotto this week. I can't wait any longer. Tell us, sweetheart, what is the latest jackpot news? With pleasure, Dale. It's a bumper night on Lotto with a prize fund of £28.8 million. Pounds. That means the double rollover jackpot is humongous. It's £15 million. Good luck. Oh, yeah. So let's get on with it and start those Lotto balls are tumbling. And tonight we're using Pearl and the set of balls number two. Two chosen for us earlier today by Alex Brown, who's from Ilford. Dale. Well, I know what you're thinking. I know you want it to be you. I wish you the very best of luck more than ever tonight. Good luck. This is it then. Tonight's double rollover, the 15th since the lottery began nearly 10 years ago. Here's the first number. And it is. Number 24. Good news if it's yours. We saw it Wednesday night as well, of course. That 105th time as a main ball. Here's the next one. And that's number 21. Still that midweek too. Coolish main ball though, 96th time as a main ball. And the third one this Saturday night is number 28, a completed Millionaire's Row. Last Saturday night, 117th appearance as a main lotto ball. Here is the fourth one. And that's number 16. Just think, since 1994, when it all started, the lottery's created more than 1,600 millionaires. Or multi-millionaires. There's the next 31. Good news if it's yours. Third draw in a fortnight ain't bad, is it? 143rd appearance in the lotto for that one. And the sixth one is number 33. Sixth draw in recent weeks. Been busy. 130th time it's been in the lotto lineup. And the bonus tonight, should you need it, is number three. Let's take a look then at this weekend's winning lotto numbers. But here they are in ascending order this time. Makes it easier. 16. 21. 24. 28, 31, and number 33. The bonus tonight is number three. Mr. Winton. Mr. Jennifer, well, I hope you won, but if you didn't, well, Lotto isn't the only massive jackpot tonight. Here's Lotto Extra. Go on, let's release this Saturday's Extra Balls. <laughs> and for tonight's Extra, we are using Amethyst and set of Extra Balls number seven. Again chosen by Mr. Brand from Ilford. Dale. So, what is so special about Lotto Extra tonight, G? I uh, tell you, my lovely. Lotto Extra's jackpot has rolled for the 40th time since the start of the year. It's the longest ever. So, we're talking big, big money tonight. So, get ready to gasp. <laughs> because the jackpot has swollen to 13.4 million pounds. Wow. I'm very worried about your chest, Alan. Well, <laughs> it's about time to get the jackpot won. Here come tonight's six winning numbers, and I wish you the very best of luck. I've done myself an injury. You're watching this weekend's Lotto Extra Draw live on BBC One as part of In It To Win It with Dale Winton. There's the first one, 12. No smaller prizes along the way in this game, just the one big jackpot. We're now talking 13.4 million. Next is number one. There's no winner tonight. We'll have a bigger jackpot Wednesday night. Join us just before 10 o'clock again, if you would. Third number. Is number 38. Remember, in this game, that jackpot can reach 50 million. We're heading that way, ladies and gentlemen. The fourth one is number 35. We're live tonight on the big BBC One. What's the next number? It is 
That one there. Number 10. We're almost there. Just one more needed. Which is it to be? This could make you very rich indeed. And it is number three. Can I text the numbers again in ascending order? Ah, number one. Number three. Number 10. Number 12. Number 35. And number 38. So, how did you get on? Don't forget, there'll be a full lottery update for you. News of all four of tonight's draws, including the Daily Play, at half past ten, right here on BBC One. Dale. Well, all that remains for me to do now is to give Lisa, Vivian and Ian their cheques for a massive £18,333 each. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to be in it to win it, well, we'll do it all again next Saturday. Until then, have a great night. Good night. I'm so made up with this. It says, Vivian Radfar, please pay £18,333. Well you done, so darling. Much. Thank you. No, you did all yourself. Congratulations. Well done. Ian, you've played a blinder tonight. You have been absolutely brilliant. All those correct answers, and you're still here for me to give you a check for also £18,333. Thank you very much. Well Ian. done. Thank you. Congratulations. Proof. It says, Lisa Thompson, £18,333. Thank you. Well done. You're welcome. Well done.